My name is Cynthia Cook, and I'm the director of the Franklin D. Roosevelt Presidential Library and Museum. Grace Tully was FDR's last personal secretary. She worked closely with him and uh, was with FDR until the day he died in Warm Springs, Georgia on April 12, 1945. We were long aware that this collection was there. I've had my eye on it for 10 years. I'm Bob Clark. I'm the supervisory archivist. This collection is really unique. It's not only Grace Tully's papers, it's also the papers of Missy LeHand, who, who was her predecessor as FDR's primary secretary. It's their handwritten notes that FDR jotted down that then either Miss Tully or Miss LeHand would turn into official memos. Secretary of War. General Pershing asks very strongly, Colonel George C. Marshall, infantry, be promoted to brigadier. Can we put in list of next promotions? And of course, George Marshall would become the most important uh, of Roosevelt's uh, military advisors uh, during World War II. A fascinating document in this collection is a handwritten letter to FDR written around June of 1933. My dear Mr. President, I hope of meeting you someday in the near future in order to have the opportunity to discuss with you the outstanding world problems in which United States and Italy are mutually interested. I am, my dear Mr. President, very sincerely yours, Mussolini. My predecessor in the 1980s uh, wrote to Grace Tully when she was still alive and, and asked her to please consider donating her FDR letters. Miss Tully died in 1984 and we believe Grace Tully's papers then passed from her heirs into private hands. They ultimately were sold a couple of times at auction, most recently reappearing uh, for sale uh, in 2004. At Dear Grace, I'm in Cairo, a busy all times. Churchill here with his daughter Sarah. Also, General Lissimo and Madame Shanghai Shek. The conference goes fairly well. My role is that of peacemaker. I've seen the pyramids and made close friends with the Sphinx. Congress should know her. Much love, FDR. Lucy Mercer Rutherford, as many people know, had a brief affair with, with Franklin Roosevelt in the 19-teens. Grace's papers contain many things that are, are, are very personal. And this letter to Grace um, is arranging for Lucy and her friend Elizabeth Shumatov to come to Warm Springs, Georgia so that Elizabeth Shumatov could paint a portrait of FDR. With many thanks again for being so very understanding and thoughtful. If you change your mind and think it would be better for me not to come, call me up. I really am terribly worried, as I imagine you all are. Of course, Lucy and Madame Shumatov were there the day that FDR was stricken with a cerebral hemorrhage. Um, that killed him. And the portrait that Elizabeth Shumatov was working on is now known as the unfinished portrait. But we were so taken with the entire collection that we began the lengthy process of negotiation and ultimately an act of Congress, which paved the way for the donor. This is a collection of material never before seen by the public, never before seen by researchers. That collection has now become uh, the property of the U.S. government and of the people of the United States.